Okay. Hopefully, I can be heard clearly. Can you hear? He's up. Good. Okay. All right, guys, far away. David, what was it like playing before about 100 fans? It's right here. Uh, yeah. Volume up. Can you guys hear us? Yeah. All right. Okay. Got David McCormick. Let's go. David, what was it like playing before about a hundred fans? Um, I know I still felt the energy, and I felt that our team needed to create our own energy. And uh, I think that's something we did was just talking on the bench and making sure that we had you know some zest or some pop to keep us going. Hey, David, how important for you was it to have the kind of game you did? Maybe just from a confidence standpoint, and uh, you know maybe see some buckets fall. I think it was definitely big for me just uh, uh, having the first three games, you know, I was going off to a slow start. And I think this game just kind of helped me as a confidence booster and just get my feet wet. Dave, do you have any idea why you had a slow start? I mean, did you pinpoint anything? <laughs> um, you know, I, I know that I'm harder on myself than anybody else is. And I think it just came down to just uh, putting pressure on myself. Uh, and I know that I just need to have fun and take the pressure off and, and enjoy everything that's going on. Was tonight fun? Tonight was definitely fun. Um, I just enjoyed playing with my team and forgot about everything else and just had a great time. Hey, David, what does Dewan bring to this team? Dewan is, uh, how can I say it? Dewan's a little spark of energy. He comes in and just does all the right things right away. Comes in and gets deflections, makes great passes, uh, cre drives a lane to uh, create open shots. I mean, he's just, like I said, a little spark of energy that gets us going. David, how's your right knee and how did you hurt it? Uh, during the St. Joe's game, I think it was one layup where I got fouled, the guy fell on my ankle and my knee kind of twisted in the same at the same time but since then just been getting plenty of treatment and recovering well doing well oh sorry david have, have you guys been through enough um uh, uh of these unusual circumstances with with no fans in the arenas and, and and all the other restrictions that it's no longer feeling all that weird anymore are we reached that point yet uh I don't know if you can say that it, it doesn't feel weird. I think we've definitely accommodated to it, but playing a game your whole life, having people in the stands uh, cheering you on and mass crowds to not having them either not at all or less is definitely going to feel weird regardless. But I think we've accommodated to it well. David, how did you feel when they hit you with two lobs early? Uh, <laughs> it felt good. Um, you know, I actually thought I was pretty cold and I didn't know if I was going to get it, but I'm glad that I was still able to flush him down. Any other questions for David? Dave, what can you learn from a game like this? Uh, that, you know, that's a Division II team, obviously, and you guys had size advantages and things like that. What, what can you learn from this? Uh, there's a lot of things to take away as far as how we – guarded and just how they got off a lot of good shots. I think you can never you know, underestimate any opponent and just uh, go into every game with the same tenacity and the same mindset uh, and guarding your opponent. All right, guys, we'll bring Bryce in. Thanks, David. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.